हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू मेरी इंजीनियरिंग हब दिस इज नाइटर चीफ इंजीनियर रवि गुप्ता टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट प्रेशर वैक्यूम बल्ब एंड आफ्टर दैट वी विल टॉक अबाउट मास राइजर एंड देन वी विल टॉक अबाउट द पीवी ब्रेकर इन टुडे वीडियो वी विल टॉक अबाउट द दिस थ्री थिंग व्हिच आर फिटेड इन अ इनर्ट गैस सिस्टम एज अ सेफ्टी अरेंजमेंट इन टुडे वीडियो वी विल सी हाउ द पीवी बल्ब वर्क how the pv breaker work and how the moisturizer work and after that i will talk about the maintenance which are done in the pv valve and the pv breaker friends marine engineering hubs is a platform which make video which will be beneficial for your examination interview and for your oral purpose so please do subscribe as i'm watching that many of you are look watching the video but not subscribing is a kind request to you please subscribe because it provide us with a lot of encouragement so if you want to watch the video which are yet to be released you can join our channel by minimum fees so let's start the video of pressure vacuum valve moisturizer and pv breaker so first let us look at a diagram of a inert gas system so this is a boiler uptake where the flue gas will come it will pass through scrubber after the scrubber it will go to a gas blower and from gas blower it will go to a pressure regulating valve and through deck seal it will come to a deck now in deck there are three arrangement which we are going to talk about the first is the pv breaker the second is the mass riser and third is the pv valve so these are the three safety arrangement which are fitted and on which main question are asked if you want to know more detail about the deck seal then please do comment below i will make a separate video so first let's talk about the mass riser so what is a mass riser so basically if you are carrying a homogeneous cargo in that case the mass riser will become handy how before that you need to understand the arrangement now the inert gas inert gas is coming here okay and after that it is going to each tank from here okay now at a time of loading at a time of loading we are filling up the cargo tank and we are not taking the inert gas because the tank are already inerted so now what will happen now suppose first scenario that 50% cargo is been loaded so at that time the inert gas which is there is slowly slowly will be venting out from the pv valve and if the loading rate is fast and if the pv valve cannot cope up then the exhaust gas or the sorry the inert gas will come from here and will go out from this mass riser like this one more time i will tell you now suppose if the loading rate means suppose if the cargo is coming here is so fast is so fast that the inert gas which is coming out from the pv valve is not sufficient to maintain the safety pressure in that case the inert gas will come out from the common inert gas line and will vent out from this mass riser so this system is basically applicable in case if we are carrying a homogeneous cargo what do i mean a homogeneous cargo basically if you are in a crude oil tanker in that case what will happen that normally suppose this is one tank this is one tank this is one tank so this is the inert gas line so if the pressure in particular line particular tank is increasing from a common inert gas pipe system means from here it will go from here and from here the mass riser it will vent out so the mass riser is a type of a valve which act as a safety device and which release the pressure inside the cargo tank by releasing the excess pressure this come handy in a crude oil tanker which are fitted with a homogeneous cargo and 
the masterizer is basically consisting of vertical pipe fitted with a common venting pipe line arrangement now this is a crude oil tanker and as you can see this is a one masterizer and maybe this will be also one more second so if your pipeline is big enough it may happen that you may get one or two mast riser or vent riser so basically it look like this it will go and it will vent out from here okay the the gas will come and it will vent out from here this is a flame arrester which is provided so that it will arrest any flame so this is how this masterizer work now we will talk about the pressure vacuum valve so what is the pressure vacuum valve so pressure vacuum valve and p waker are the two thing which are fitted in a system before talking about this you need to make sure that you understand this both concept clearly the pv valve is provided on a top of the cargo tank now suppose in a individual cargo tank there is a pv valve but pv waker will be provided in a line of a inert gas system it means that there might be one or two p breaker but there will be minimum one p valve for each cargo tank so this is the basic difference so p valve is what a safety device we install why to relieve the excess pressure or vacuum condition inside a cargo tank whereas the p breaker work is same is to release excess pressure or vacuum condition in the inert gas system pipe line it means that pv breaker is been provided to relieve excess pressure which is been generated in this inert gas line now if anybody asks how it will happen so basically suppose there is a cargo tank and the inert gas is coming from here the inert gas is coming from here and suppose you forget to open this cargo isolating valve for the particular cargo tank so what will happen that if a masterizer is valve is closed suppose or if the rate of exit rate of exit is not sufficient in that case the pressure will build up in the line so that will be relieved with the help of this pv breaker how to relieve we'll talk about later so this is the work of a pv valve now let's see the pv valve now pv valve what will happen it will come from here now suppose the cargo tank is here the cargo tank is here and the pressure is exceeding so it will come from here and it will pull the flap up and it will come out from here now suppose the second condition if there is a vacuum inside the tank if there is a vacuum inside the tank it will get lift up and the air will get inside the tank from here so if pressure is too much it will come from here and it will get exit from here like this okay and if it is consisting of vacuum it will go like this bottom we are talking about the cargo tank now let's see working principle so as i told you the main working principle if in examination they ask you what is the working principle of pv valve you will say the first is the pressure regulation how it allow to enter air or exit without a predefined limit it means that there is a set pressure for a pressure and a vacuum and within that limit if it exceed or if it decrease in that case it will allow the valve to open the second is that vacuum prevention now it help to prevent the pressure drop in such a way that it does not allow to have a vacuum formation inside the tank now if anybody ask you why vacuum formation is dangerous for a cargo tank like let's let's suppose this is a cargo tank and it is going inside a vacuum condition so what will happen 
it will shrink like this it will shrink like this means it will get bulge in so instead if it get bulge in it will damage the structure of a cargo tank so in order to prevent that the vacuum condition need to be prevented so the first is the pressure regulation the second is the vacuum prevention and third is the pressure equalization it means that if the pressure inside the cargo tank is increasing too much in that case it will equalize it by venting it out so the importance of pv bar is that it protect it from getting over pressurize and vacuum condition means if the vacuum condition is inside the tank exit it will open up and the air will go inside this now as you can see there is a mess provided this mess is called flame arrester this is the valve lid which is been adjusted by a spring force which will get lifted up depending upon the setting and this is also adjusted by a spring force so a basic design look like this it means that if a pressure is exceeding too much in that case it will act here it will act here and it will lift it up against the spring and it will exit now if a vacuum condition is rising if a vacuum condition is happening so what will happen it will exit on top top and as in bottom there is a less pressure it will pressurize it downward and it will get inside so this is how it works so if anybody asks you what is the importance of pv valve the pv valve importance is to prevent from over pressurization structural damage and ensure safe operation of the cargo so basically these are the keyword in pv valve one two three four one is the pressure regulation second is vacuum prevention third is pressure equalization fourth is structural damage so these are the keyword you must use when you are talking about the pv valve so this is the thing which i'm talking about that if the pressure is increasing it getting relief from here and if the vacuum it coming like this so it acting as a cargo safety providing stability and trim and helping the environment and protecting the environment because because it is reducing the environmental hazard now let's talk about how a pv breaker work so where the pv breaker the pv breaker is provided in this inert gas pipeline and it look like this so it is a miniature of a deck seal okay means deck seal principle also is same like this so it is act as a backup if pv valve fail to regulate the pressure it will help it causes the tank to prevent from getting damage and how let's talk about that now suppose this are the cargo tank inert gas valve individual cargo tank inert gas valve now if this is closed in that case and if the inert gas is open so what will happen the inert gas will flow here it will it will not able to go from here not able to go from here and suppose if mass is a valve is closed so the pressure will get build up in the line so that will be relieved by help of a pv breaker one scenario second scenario is that now suppose now suppose that okay one valve two valve and all other tank valve are open and the inert gas is gushing out in such a way that even if the pv valve is open and mass riser is open the pressure in the line is increasing one more time i'll tell you suppose the loading rate is so fast the loading rate is so fast that the inert gas which is coming out from pv valve and mass riser are not able to cope up the pressure which are getting build up in this inert gas pipeline in that case pv breaker will work so if anybody ask you why the pv breaker is provided the pv breaker is acting as a pressure regulation or pressure equalizer in a inert gas pipeline how now let's see 
now suppose the pressure inside the tank is increasing the pressure inside the tank is increasing now you are seeing this pipeline this one okay so this is here it is coming it will go here it will push the water column down and it will have a capillary action and the water will come out from here so acting as a pressure equalizer now if the vacuum condition build up the opposite will happen the air will come from here and will go here and after that it will from here it will go up and then it will go down so the air is coming from here it's getting here and then it is flowing from here and then going out so it is acting as a equalizing the pressure in the inert gas pipeline so this is the work of pv breaker now what is the application of the pv valve so pv valve is basically used in a chemical tanker and oil tanker and as per the new regulation some ship mainly the chemical tanker are in fact fitted with a two pv valve in individual tank in most common arrangement you will see one pv valve and one pressure sensor as a common arrangement after that a pv breaker you can only find in a maximum in a crude oil tanker or a homogeneous cargo carrier so pv breaker function is basically as i have told you now what are maintenance we are doing in a pv valve so first is the regular inspection we need to regularly inspect because it consists of moving part such as spring valve seat valve plates we need to see that it does not have any kind of corrosion wear and malfunction we have to do performance testing what do you mean performance testing it means that we have to see that at proper set pressure it is getting lifted up or at proper set vacuum condition it is getting open that also need to be checked by the sore personnel and calibration and adjustment certificate need to be provided from time to time and the record keeping is need to be maintained that the onboard maintenance is been done and it is properly been overall and checked and it is complying with the rules and regulation so friend in today video i have told you about the pv breaker work what are the application of of masterizer and how the pv breaker work if you think i have given you something in this video then please do like please do subscribe and please do share our video with your friends in the social media platform in whatsapp and instagram and please do subscribe our channel if you are watching till now then please join our channel i guarantee that you will get more to interact with me and you can clear your doubt by contacting me thank you friend